A very good day, everybody. It's me, Wanesi Musalia, curator of Fine Places and Spaces. Today is a very special day because after some time, I'm back on location with Fine Urban Construction and Interiors. This is Banana in the heart of Kiambu County, and I am so excited to have you guys look at this amazing renovation of this farmhouse. I'm seated outside here, the sun's out, it's a beautiful day. It was a little bit nippy this morning, that's why I had to put on a little bit of layers, but I can already start to feel the sun coming out. But you know, the brightness of the sun is exactly what we need because this house is bright, it's amazing, it's beautiful, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Hello guys, I am currently at the Fine Urban Construction and Interiors offices and I just want to take this opportunity to tell you guys about a program that Fine Urban Construction and Interiors is currently working on and that is Jengea Wazazi with Fine Urban Construction and Interiors. It is such an exciting concept because for me personally, I do have uh, my mother's home in Ushago. It is not in the best condition and I would love more than anything to be able to renovate it. So seeing the company that I work for actually push that for anyone else who might be out there who wants to renovate their parents' property or even build a new house for them, it is the perfect opportunity. Just call us and we'll be there and we'll do the perfect work for you. Now you can interact with that. It's going to be a hashtag on Twitter and leave all your comments there. We'd really love to hear about all the projects that you guys may have out there that you'd want to work on for your parents and your loved ones. Now I understand that this house belongs to a couple. Is this a young couple? Is this an old couple? Because I'm seeing some kids mm -hmm. um, elements uh, in and around the, the area. The thing that's most heartwarming about this particular project is that this is a daughter's gift to her elderly parents. Oh wow. So this entire renovation was a gift and it, I've just had such an incredible time walking through and seeing the transformation because I understand that this house is going to be grandchildren and that's why you can see I those see. elements, there's grandchildren, so everyone will fully get to enjoy. You can see we have the swing over there. Right. Definitely if I'm a child in this compound, I'm going to put that to full use. <laughs> Definitely I'll be there 24-7. But then with the elderly couple, we had to think about things like if they want to relax within their compound mm -hmm. and really enjoy I mean, the air here, the breeze, oh, it's so the fresh, sun. it's beautiful. It's, you want to make the most out of the space. So we made sure that we put an area where you were sitting earlier. Right. But uh, did you notice the steps? Yes, it's quite elevated. So was that yeah. was that also done? It, it didn't exist like that before? No, it did not exist in that way. There was a lot of shrubs. It was very untidy. I see. But we wanted to make it more accessible. We wanted to make it very comfortable. Again, it's an elderly couple. So we had to really think about these things. Now they have an area that they can enjoy during the day or even at night. You can see we did make sure that we have a patio heat over that. Very so nice. if it's a cool afternoon, you still want to sit outside, you have that option. face of this house has completely been transformed. We had a huge issue when initially we got here mm -hmm. because the dining room was so tiny mm -hmm. and we came up with a solution in a way where we could push this section of it of the house to the outside so we could create a grand entrance and you'll be able to see once you go inside just how much that actually transformed the inside of the house as well. Okay, 
Okay, Cynthia, I think mm -hmm. we can start to head inside and see what else this house has to offer. Yes. But one other thing I've noticed is mm -hmm. that this entrance yes. is a mirror. Yes. I can see myself mm -hmm. in this door. That, was that deliberate to have a mirror on the outside? Of course, like with all, it's, it's a matter of privacy. I see. So whoever's outside is not able to see directly to the house, but once you're inside, you can look at this incredible oh, compound. Oh, so this is a one-way mirror. So, if, yeah. so if, I'm, if I'm stood inside this yeah. house, I can see outside. Really. But right now, all I'm seeing is my reflection. 100%. And that's quite useful. So in case I'm, I'm coming so. up to the house, maybe I can just check myself and make sure that you know. <laughs> Everything is, uh, you know, in yeah. place before mm -hmm. I, you know, yeah. knock on the door. Yeah, and everyone who's inside will definitely, we'll definitely see you. Will definitely see me checking. <laughs> yeah. So. That's, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, after you, please. <laughs> Thank you. This is a place that I don't want to leave. I mean, the, the seats look mm -hmm. so comfortable. I'm, I'm looking at them mm -hmm. and are you going to tell me that these are custom made as well? Everything. Like, oh you my know, goodness, Cynthia. Everything from top to bottom in this house is by Fine Oh, and wow. Period. And the lighting as well. Mm -hmm. Cove, I can see there's a mix of Cove. The gypsum is sitting quite nicely. You've got the signature chandelier piece over there. Yeah. I don't know about you, but growing up, we used to have these wall units that used to have, you know, DVDs and all mm. bunch of things so that you display like literally everything. So it's like yeah. a display area where you've got your glasses, you've mm. got your you've got your cassettes, you've mm. got your DVDs. I mean, it shows how old I am. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, nowadays you've got this really clean finish yeah. where it's like, you know, it's just what you need. It's the TV, it's the fireplace, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit of decor mm -hmm. and then whatever you need to store, you can store it quite you know away from 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 sight making everything really elegant yeah. and nice to look at so we did make sure that all the elements you know you can see from the floor tiles we still have that texture in there right. we have that warmth in there we made sure that everything that we put into the space really makes sense yeah i love this design i mean it's yeah. it's clear that there's a partition between this this living space and mm -hmm. the kitchen and that elevated area which leads into the dining room yeah but it's not boring you know it's not just like a slab yeah or, or a bit of glass or mm -hmm. whatever it is it's it's this unique you know amazing piece that adds some you know visual interest into the space i always say that you know, fine urban construction and interiors. We do construction now, but we did begin as an interior design company. Right. So as much as we want to create a functional space, we want to create a beautiful space. And it is very, and, very beautiful. Yeah, and that's how you find that our lead designer, Mr. Cleophis, comes up with things like this because we want to create a partition, but we don't want to just put a solid wall. Right. We want to create something that's still going to add to the design of the house. And I love the, the, the double contrast where you've got the piping on that side mm -hmm. and then a little bit of storage in the piping then, on this side and a little bit of storage. Yeah, it functions for both, spaces. for both spaces i think that's just very smart design very nice yeah all right so mm -hmm. let's see what the rest of the house looks like yes i love this space i love it love it love it love it love it yeah. the lighting the wow just tell me what i'm looking at so when we were outside and we talked about pushing out that wall mm -hmm. like when i tell you when i first came to this house the situation in the dining room was you couldn't understand what the thought process was with whoever designed that section. It was so small, so sweet. Right. So when we push that wall back, you mm -hmm. can see what a huge impact that has had. And I think that's another a place where you can see the construction part of fine urban construction mm -hmm. and interiors. Because we're willing to do things like that to make sure that the client at the end of the day has a very functional, comfortable space. Well, it's functional and it's very visually appealing. Very. One thing that I've noticed as well is the use of very large mirrors to add depth exactly. to the room. The the fridge, mm -hmm. if I'm looking at it correctly, that fridge is a mirror in and of itself. Yes. Yeah. So once you have creative license, because that's mm -hmm. really what it's about, yeah. creative license. Mm -hmm. Once I give you my money, if I'm somewhere, if I'm sitting somewhere in the UK or, yes. or Tanzania or wherever, and I say, look, here's my money, yeah. go ahead and do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Everything that you mentioned from scratch, from the furniture everything. to the appliances, mm -hmm. to the decor, mm -hmm. to the construction, to yes. the tiling, mm -hmm. everything. Every single detail. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. 
And like you said, Cynthia, I love how the tiling from the living space goes up into the dining area, but it's clearly separated. You can see once it gets to this wall, mm -hmm. it's this unique slant, a diagonal slant that yeah. just like, okay, this is the dining room area mm -hmm. and then this is the kitchen. And, you know, I love how everything just sits nicely. Mm -hmm. This fridge sits nicely. And then you've got, you know, the microwave built into this, you know, storage space. I mean, this is mm -hmm. really, really, really fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I think I've talked about quite a number of kitchens while doing this job. Right. But every single time, just seeing that no matter what size kitchen you have, no matter where you're located, you're always going to get a kitchen that is very functional, very clean, and very well set out. So everything has its own place. I mean, this is, I mean, if you don't need to do like your fine dining and, you know, have guests, this is a nice area where you can just quickly prepare something, come down, have a seat, yeah. and it's big enough to accommodate quite a few people. And big is the key word. Right. That was very intentional. We knew from the moment we came here, we want to make an island that we have not created. I have never seen an island space. like this before. Yeah. yeah. We wanted it to be multifunctional, convenient. We wanted this kitchen to make a huge impression. And I think... Not, I'm sure. I don't think. I am 100% sure we have knocked it out of the park. So yeah, I mean, you know, once you have, you know, this amount of storage and there's, mm -hmm. there's plenty to go around, you can yes. fit in, you know, tons and tons of stuff just down here alone. I mean, that's mm -hmm. good enough. Most houses would only come with the kind of storage that you see on this, <laughs> yeah. on this island. But, you know, we've got the rest of it here. All it's really, really incredible. I yeah. love this space. Mm -hmm. And you've got visibility as well. You've got visibility yeah. of the living room. Mm -hmm. You've got visibility of, of the dining. Mm -hmm. It's a nice open plan, but again, very mm -hmm. distinct. Yeah. Living, dining, kitchen. Beautiful. Well, this room here has had one of the biggest transformations in this entire property. So what I mean is the corridor we just left, mm -hmm. where there's that gorgeous mirror and everything, that mm -hmm. one that's leading to the back of the house, mm -hmm. there was an, another corridor that came in. So they, there was an opening right. on that wall right. and the corridor came in this way. So what we did was close that off mm -hmm. and then take take down that wall and expand the room outwards. Expand the room outwards and mm -hmm. then build in this uh, storage space. Yes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Cannot tell that this is a farmhouse in here yeah. at all. We wanted it to feel unique, but we wanted it to make sense most of all. So every room, the comfort levels were paramount. We had to make sure this room did not have the bathroom. Oh it really? Did not yeah. When we were able to close that up, because there was in that corridor, they existed like a bathroom of its own, like a, wow. a toilet, and we we're like that was such a waste. This room could have its own bathroom, so we were able to create an ensuite. Like taking down that wall and then, you know, having a lot of storage exists in this room as well. So you have a well-rounded room at the end of the day. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I feel like I'm in a hotel. <laughs> like a very nice boutique, very chic yeah. hotel, yeah. you know. Um, mm -hmm. Beautiful. The details are incredible. Honestly, I love the use of mirrors as we're walking through the yes. property. Because this isn't exactly, I mean, we've done some of these together. Mm -hmm. You've seen the sizes of the rooms in some of the houses yes. that we do. Yes. You can obviously feel that this house needed special attention. Yes. Because the rooms, you know, they're not as huge. So you have to make sure that you're still giving these rooms as much attention as you're going to give any other size room. If, if not more, actually. Absolutely. Yeah. So here we are in the next room. And as soon as you walk in, I actually, I don't know why I've missed to point out that every room has a rug. I've noticed the rugs. Yeah. 
I don't know about you, but again, like I like fabric, so mm. every time I'm looking for a way to like feel the fabric, <laughs> I just want to touch it. Yeah, and I think wow. it's it's just something that adds another element of texture yes. into the room, but yes. also it's functional because you know, if the floor is cold, you now have a very nice and warm and cushy place to step once you get off your bed or when you're going into bed. Again, the mm -hmm. theme is continuing. Yeah. Beautiful high ceilings, mm -hmm. nice, nice and significant storage. Yes. So we wanted to make sure that every single bit that is going to be in the space did have that sense of treasure, luxury. Very luxurious, very, yes. very. And of mm -hmm. course, you've got your ensuite situation going on there. Yeah. Nice, spacious bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got your shower in there. Mm -hmm. Amazing, 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 amazing transformation. Mm -hmm. And you know, another thing I want to point out is I've said the room's small, but if you haven't picked up on this yet, which I'm sure you have, mm -hmm. they have this very unique shape. I love it. Yeah, it curves, right? Yeah, and that could pose as a challenge to someone who doesn't know <laughs> how to how to maneuver. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's like, well, the gypsum kind of nice, nicely uh, curves, exactly. it curves into the storage and yeah. you've, you've, you've left enough space for the, for the curtain rods to mm -hmm. do what they need to do there and to fit in quite, quite beautifully there as well. So we are now in the master bedroom. The initial door was here. I see. So, yeah. so all this from here yeah. is brand new. Yeah, this section is new just to give a bit more privacy and a bit more room to the master bedroom because okay. we felt like this entrance was too immediate. And the entrance to the bathroom was over here, which just made a lot of complications in terms of giving us full capacity to design the room. I see. So we can take a look at the bathroom. Oh, grand. Very grand. Once you have darker tiles, it yeah. just speaks to like, you know, we are opulent, we are royalty. Let the rest have the lighter tiles. We <laughs> yeah. shall have the darker, more yeah. uh, more luxurious tiles. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what if you if I was to ask you, what do you think the advantage of having a darker tile and this half, mm. specifically that half of the bathroom is? What would you say? Well, besides the obvious luxury, I would mm -hmm. say maybe it has something to do with um, I don't know. I struggle. I one thing that I struggle with, with especially with like a shower bath area, yeah. is keeping it clean. A hundred percent. You hit the nail on the head. That's really? the thought process. Okay. So again, this is where that factor of knowing your client comes in. Right. We have an elderly couple. Got it. This is the master bathroom. Got it. We want to make sure that whatever we put in is easy for them to keep clean. Yeah. Again, <laughs> again, again. You know, I can't get tired of saying this. Mm -hmm. You know, these these windows and i think this has the biggest window of all mm -hmm. out of all the rooms and it yeah. overlooks you know the the driveway mm -hmm. very very nice lots of light i i yeah. see this bed and i just want to take a nap Cynthia. they all look so comfortable yeah. but i have to say of all the beds you've seen this is my favorite this is, yeah yeah absolutely this i see it is my favorite i see it and i'm like yeah mm -hmm. just you guys you guys can clear out um mm -hmm. you know i think i've had a long day yeah. Let me just take a nice breather here because mm -hmm. it just looks inviting. I, I don't know whether it's the colors or mm -hmm. just the design of the bed. Yeah. It looks really, really nice. Well, I mean, this mirror, you know, we could stand here and look at each other. <laughs> ourselves all day. <laughs> at ourselves all day because <laughs> yeah. it, it kind of does that to you. Yeah. Um, but is there anything else that we need to look at um, yeah, in this there, house? Yeah, there's that corridor we touched on. Yes, yes, yes. And we, I told you it leads to the back of the house. Right. So there's work we've done there as well. So okay. we can head over there. And I can show you what we've done for the back of the house as well. Yes. We have something exact same thing right over here. I like the shape. It's not like a conventional mirror. It, it has this nice, interesting mm -hmm. shape to it. Yeah, it feels more organic. Uh -huh. Yeah, it doesn't feel like so well cut yeah, out. Yeah, because you can just mm -hmm. chuck a slab on here, like make a square slab, and then yeah, there, yeah. But we wanted to have that feel farmhouse vibes, natural, farmhouse vibe. <laughs> natural elements, organic shapes, and that was the purpose of having these mirrors in quite this unique shape. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Let's head out to the back of the house. We're going to transform. We want to have an outside kitchen. The client would like to have an outside, an outside kitchen. kitchen. Yes. I see. So we want to transform this section here. I see. Into a kitchen.
this is a laundry area. Yes. Yeah. So this looks like a. <laughs> this cannot be a laundry area, Cynthia. Come on. It definitely is. It looks like an entertainment section. Like I could, I could easily, you know, post people here. This is ridiculous. What? Yeah. It is a laundry room, but again, we have to consider how many people, how much laundry is going to be done in this room. So, you know, we had to make sure we designated enough space. I would make this a man cave easy, because I mean, everything, the tiling, the lighting, mm -hmm. the, the countertops. Yeah. For me, you know, chuck a sofa here and a big screen TV, this is my man cave. Yeah. I would shut the world off. <laughs> It looks that good. Yeah. It looks too good to be a laundry area. Yeah. yeah, but that's what we want to demonstrate as a company. We want to demonstrate the fact that we're not going to neglect any part of, the, of your house, be it on the inside or the outside. We're going to make sure that we're using the same high quality materials everywhere. Another exciting and very heartwarming project that we're currently working on is a giveaway. What we want to do is give back to the community, which is something that is ingrained in fine urban construction and interiors. The way that we want to do this is by buying food. We have a list of places of children's homes and schools that we want to buy food for, and we want you guys to get involved. The best way for you guys to be a part of this process is by subscribing, because every one of your subscriptions is going to be equivalent to 100 shillings that will go towards buying the foods that we will then deliver to these schools and these shelters. The only way for us to know who are the new subscribers is by you guys leaving your comments. So if you're going to subscribe and be a new subscriber, make sure that you leave a comment down below letting us know so that we can ensure that 100 bob does go towards the food. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how many of you will really want to be on this journey with us. And as always, we will be showing you the process. So I am looking forward to seeing all your lovely comments.